What's up YouTube, it's HG28 here, and today I was actually going to review my HTC One M9 that I've had for about nine months. This is just my experience with the phone. Yeah, I hope you guys like it. Um, I'm gonna talk about the things I like best about the phone first, and then I'm gonna talk about the things I dislike about the phone. Overall, um, I would say this phone's a pretty good phone in the used market. There's gonna be some strong areas of the phone that people might like. There's gonna be some weak areas of the phone. Things I've noticed and things that I've experienced with the phone. So, all right, let's begin. Okay, so the first thing I like about the HTC One M9 is that it has a micro SD card. You're able to expand your memory. Uh, with the phone. So this phone that I have comes with 32 gigabytes of already internal storage and I put another 32 gigabyte micro SD card inside because I download a lot of music, um, I take a lot of photos, I take a lot of videos. Um, in my opinion, um, if you take photos or if you have a lot of music offline, I know that's not huge anymore because there's a lot of streaming services, but if you just want that extra space, if you don't want a 16 gigabyte phone, um, and you download a lot of apps. I think that the micro, the, the expandable storage in the HTC One M9 still makes it competitive today in today's use market, but uh, it's something that stood out to me and it's the reason I bought the phone. Originally, I came from an iPhone 4S before I bought this phone, and then I bought a Samsung Galaxy S4, and then I bought the HTC One M9. Now, the S4 and the M9 both have ex expandable storage because I wanted something that is capable of, I guess, again, keeping up with all all the music I have downloaded and all the apps I have downloaded. So if you're a big app downloader, if you're a big music person, then the expandable storage is a good option for you. The second thing I like about the phone is the sound that comes from the front facing speakers. So if you're a big media person, if you like watching YouTube or Netflix or uh, anything, like if you're watching a video on Instagram or something like that, uh, the phone has really good sound quality coming from the sound speakers. Um, I'm talking about it's a really clean audio that comes and it's loud. So if you're playing music or if you're doing something playing playing a movie or watching a YouTube video and more than one person's watching and you don't have earphones, you're, they're capable of hearing it and at the same time you're capable and it, it projects its volume well. So if you want that sort of flexibility that, hey, if I don't have headphones or if I want to listen to headphones, I have that option and the speakers don't sound muddy. The third thing I like about the phone is the power it has. So, and by power, I mean battery, I mean uh, processing power and the capability of the phone. Now, this phone's about, I'd say about a year old, maybe a little bit more. The HTC 10 just came out, and I think you're, if you're watching this video, you're considering uh, maybe you're thinking of spending that extra $300 to get the HTC 10, or if you're thinking about getting this new or used online somewhere. So um, the phone, at least from what I've been working with, I download Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Twitch, things like that. I play a couple games, I don't play that many, but uh, the games I do, the phone hasn't lagged. It has a Snapdragon 810 processor and three gigabytes of RAM. So I think for now, it's capable of keeping up. Uh, one thing I also like about my HTC One M9 is that I got a case on it. It's the Spigen, uh, whatever it is case, but it's really nice and I've dropped my phone quite a few times from about shoulder height or higher and the phone hasn't experienced any damage in it. So um, if you do get this phone or if you get any phone for that matter, I do recommend you get a case. Um, but this speaking case actually works really well with the HTC One M9. I've experienced for nine months. I'm not afraid of walking around and uh, walking on the cement and then pulling the phone out my pocket. Cause I know if I do happen to drop it, the screen won't be damaged. Uh, the bezels on the case um, or the outer the outer edge of the case goes a little bit in front of the screen So if you do drop it screen down, uh, it's protected. Okay now a couple things I don't like about the HTC one M9 uh, first It lags every now and then uh, I know whenever I'll use it and I have a whole bunch of tabs open It'll lag it'll, it'll run slow. Or I'll tell if I'm on snapchat or something like that the video I'll be taking looks a little bit choppy while I'm recording it and then I'm like oh well what's wrong and then I go open my app and I have about 20, 20 things open which might be a lot for you which with the way I use my phone I don't like to have to keep going to that task manager and canceling out apps and going back and closing things out I want it to be able to run smooth for as many apps as I have open I should have I should be able to have 50 apps open and 
the thing should still not lag as bad as it does, but it does lag some. So I say that's one thing for me that I don't really like about the HTC One M9. It could just be because um, as apps are keep updating and optimizing for later phones and newer phones that um, they sort of don't account for uh, the M9 because you know in a year or two everybody's no one's gonna have the M9 or you know that's basically as technology evolves um, your apps will evolve too but since your phone's a piece of hardware it's not really gonna evolve another thing I don't like about my HTC One M9 is the battery life uh, whenever I use the phone and this is after nine months of usage I do at least have to charge it um, well I'll charge it overnight as I'm sleeping and then I'll wake up and then I'll use the phone throughout the day and then I might have to charge it around six or seven o'clock if I don't want it dying or going around 10% around nine or ten o'clock so it depends on you if your average work day let's say you work nine to five and you won't be using your phone between nine and eleven and then one and five p.m. but then you'll use it from five to seven getting home and things like that I think it should be good uh, you should have no problems with really battery life. You should get home around, let's say, 6.30 or 7, but you should have about maybe 30% left, 20, 30%. Another thing I dislike about my phone in particular, I'm still on 5.0 Lollipop or 5.1. One thing that really sort of stood out to me, and I don't know if I just haven't found it yet after nine, nine, 10 months is, whenever I'm opening up the task manager, I can't close out all the apps at once. I have to swipe right or swipe left to each individual app and even when i'm doing that if i have enough app o apps open it still lags so and it's these are small things but if you own a phone for that long you keep having to do it every day there's some things you notice so the last thing that i do not like about the htc one m9 is the camera um if you ever own the htc phone m7 m8 anything like that uh they do say the camera's the weak point on the phone the camera's not terrible it's not terrible but opening the app is a bit slow. If I want to take a picture of maybe a car or something going by really fast, um, I might miss it or the photo might be blurry just because the camera shutter's not fast enough, the, the app doesn't open fast enough. It's not like if you ever have an iPhone 6S or iPhone 6 and you just swipe up on the camera thing on the right side of the screen, then your app opens like that. Um, my phone, however, it's a bit slow opening the camera, especially if you don't already have it open in one of your tasks and you only have like three windows open or things like that. It's a bit slow, so watch out for that. Also, some of the pictures aren't the best and the focus isn't the best. But yeah, guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the review. That's pretty much it for my HTC One M9. Uh, if you have anything else uh, that I could possibly review, just go ahead, I don't know, shoot me a comment or something. Um, I usually just review items I have. Probably the next thing I'm gonna review is my speakers and my headphones that I do to uh, make music. So, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll hope to see you soon. AC28 out.